Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. How should we understand being a traveler in this world? Um, this question comes directly from a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in which he says, "Kun fi dunya ka'anka gharibun aw abiru sabil." Be in this world as though you are a stranger or traveler passing through. Now, of course, there are detailed explanations by the shurah of hadith, the exegetes of uh, the prophetic narrations or hadith, and uh, therein you can find detailed lessons. But taking the the literal meaning of the hadith alone has so many lessons as well. So. If you understand that the Prophet ﷺ said, "Be in the dunya as though you are a stranger," what does that mean? How do you how, how can you be a stranger? A stranger is a person who is not comfortable with their surroundings. They are not safe in their environment. They don't consider themselves at home where they are. They consider themselves as not belonging. So, for a believer, this is how we should see the dunya. We are not here to stay. We are not here to build our legacies and our palaces and and our jannah. This is not our jannah. The dunya is the prison of the believer, the dunya is the prison of the believer, and it is the jannah of the disbeliever. So, don't become too comfortable with this world. That's the first part. And then, or abiru sabil, or like a traveler passing through. Now, here's a lot of practical advice we can take from this. Look at a traveler. Like an actual traveler, somebody Hajj season is just coming to a close, so people are returning from Hajj. Now look at the Hujjaj. What do they do? They take provisions for the duration of the of the Hajj, and those provisions are basically just enough to get them through the Hajj. They take enough clothing, they take enough financial provisions, they have enough uh, food provisions, accommodation, etc. They didn't go to Mecca to Medina. Build a home for themselves. They establish a family. They uh, secure property. They, you know, get themselves a job. They they didn't make themselves comfortable. They're just passing through. So the same approach should be should be pursued as far as our lives in this dunya are concerned. Don't make yourself comfortable here. You're just passing through. If you really think about it, if if you believe as we should that our souls will never die. Our souls will never cease to exist. That there will always be a part of us, our ruh, that will carry on existing. May Allah make it in the best of places in Jannah. But then that means that we have an eternal life in the year after. And if you compare a typical lifespan, which is about 60, 70 years in this dunya, Of those 60, 70 years, the first 15 are not considered as you know years in which we are responsible. So you have about 50 to 60 years of being a responsible Muslim in this world. Imagine you spend you spent all of your effort, all of your time, all of your energy, all of your money into making those 50 years pleasant, and you neglect the eternity that waits for you in the afterlife. Those who are in the graves today, right? Some of them. From the time of the Ambiya, alayhi musallatu wasalam, they've been in the graves for thousands of years. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam and the Sahaba have been in the graves for more than fourteen hundred years. Our parents, our grandparents, our great grandparents, some of them have been in the graves for longer than they've been alive on this dunya, and that's only the graves. Hatta zurtum al maqabir, you won't stay in your graves forever. You visit the graves and then you proceed onwards. So if you spend all your time, all your energy, and all your effort. Towards investing in your life in this world, what are you going to have for the eternal life of the world you're after? And that's how we should consider uh, being a a traveler in this world. Look at the traveler, look at the the provisions that they take with them, and how they consider those provisions. The provisions are not the um, are not the luxuries of life. It's just what they need. Take from this dunya what you need. Take the amount of 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 working hours that you need, take the space for your family that you need, take the food that you need. Don't go beyond what you need because this is not the place for comfort, the place for settling. This is the place we're just passing through on our way back to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Barakallahu li wa lakum.
محمد رسول الله